Papa Peppa, Baby Fawn Rescue. All right, guys, Papa Pepper here, and uh, interesting thing just happened. I was working on some fencing, let my animals start taking care of some new uh, new area of the property. This is all free food for them anyway. And I was checking my trench because uh, when we were kids, sometimes we'd dig just holes in the ground and uh, snakes would fall in there. So I was just checking the trench quick to see, hey, hey, is anything in this trench? Because Sometimes things fall in there. And right up over here... Oh yeah, there it is. Guys, check this out. Here's my trench, right? Not all that deep. But what do we got going on in it? Do you see that? Poor little baby fawn. So... There has been a doe hanging around here recently. This is not exactly a good place for the fawn. I'm not sure if it's really trapped or if it's just hiding. But that's incredible. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures quick. So now comes the tough decision. I don't know if this thing can get out on its own. Its mom's obviously not here. If I touch the deer, the mom may not take it back. I don't want to raise the deer myself for multiple reasons, including legal reasons. So I think I've just got to find a way to put something in the trench that'll help this little thing climb out. Um, it doesn't seem to be injured. It doesn't seem to be dehydrated or anything like that. It's in a nice, cool place. So we'll see if we can't help it. So I do got a section of log right there. For this guy, that's kind of deep. Um, two feet deep at this point, but if it was facing the other way, it could just climb out right there, I'm not sure. I'll see if I can rig something up that this thing will be able to get out if it wants to. It took one look at that and started running up, so it liked that idea. Can you pick me? No, child. Yeah. We'll see how far it makes it. It did make a couple shouts for its mom. Stay still. Stay still. The mom's right there. Okay, we got some good news. Mom is right over there. The baby's right over here. It made a couple of yelps when it came out. And um, it just ran. Do you guys see that it ran right up this log I put in? It was trapped in there, but I wanted to help it. Did you grab it? No, I didn't grab it. I don't want to touch it because then the mom may reject it. So follow me, little peppers, if you want. It's in this pile of brush right now. And we want it to go that way towards its mom, so follow me this way. Poor little one. Yeah. Child. Oh it's awkward and young. It's out. <clears throat> there we go. I don't know if it'll be able to make it through my fencing though. If we walk it down to where the fence ends, kids, it'll help. So we want to stay back. The mom's on the... Come towards me, children. It's okay, little one. Come towards me, children. We're just going to try to walk it down. Aw, uh, is it making it through? It's okay, little one. It's got a foot caught. Like I said, I don't want to touch it, kids. Pull this rock back. Pull this rock back. There we go. Now it jumps through on its own. And I've heard its mom. Its mom's snorting just down that way. Oh no, another fence. Okay, it's through. Did its leg get hurt or something? I think it's like brand new and it's been sitting on its legs for a while, so they could be kind of soft. Um, kind of sore, I mean. Soft. It already has. You don't hear his mom? Yeah, the snorting. That's the uh, the alarm sound a deer will do if uh, if there's trouble. If you walk out in the woods, the first deer will notice you. It'll go, and then all the rest will know. Oh, did you hear? Uh huh. Oh, 
But I think I just saw the mob back there. Yep, I see the mom. Stay still. The mom just ran. We gotta go the other direction, kids. All right, guys. That's Papa Pepper. We uh, we got the deer out of the trench and across the fence without touching it. Just saw its mom. Looks like we're doing good. Uh, very cool to see. And uh, hopefully it has a good life. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.